Sometimes it helps to understand a concept if you relate it to something you're very familiar with. Let's say I want to open a bakery and I've checked with the customers and I find that the, they don't like a loaf of bread that sags. They like a nice rounded loaf of bread but it has to be constant over its length. And they don't like a loaf of bread that tips from one end to the other. Looks like something's wrong with this loaf. And we tried that sort of flat top loaf and that didn't go over real big either. So let's see if we can use composite profile of a surface tolerancing to come up with the perfect loaf of bread. Let me start with this one. This profile says that the top of this loaf of bread has to be located relative to the datum reference frame established by A and B. A was the bottom surface, B was the width. So it has to be located within 10 millimeters. Now one thing to keep in mind is in any manufacturing process the most difficult thing to control is location followed by orientation and then size and form. So I can just about always tighten up on form and not add considerably to the cost of a feature. But the location needs the biggest tolerance. So here I've given it 10 millimeters which will give me a beautiful shaped loaf because I said the shape, the form, has to be within a millimeter. But it's going to allow this loaf of bread to tip as much as 10 from one end to the other. And it even could have had that, you know, that sway in it. If I bring down datum feature A, now I'm asking that lower segment to control orientation. Now orientation is harder to control than form, so I had to give it a little more tolerance than I had when I was just controlling form. So even though now I'm stopping it from tipping very much from one end to the other, in other words it can't tip more than four, it can be a tall loaf or a short loaf within ten, can't tip more than four, but I had to give up a little bit on the form of it, and the result was that I ended up with sort of a flat top loaf. However, if I go to three segments, the upper one is location because that needs the most tolerance. The next one is making it so that the loaf can't tip much from one end to the other. That's the orientation. Kind of like parallelism, but I can't use parallelism on this curved surface. And the last one is saying I need a really nice radius. So it's controlling the curve. The result is I might end up with a tall loaf or a short loaf, but they're both going to look like a nice loaf of bread. And by the way, even though I use bread here, I have had applications. One in particular that comes to mind was something called a flat lens, where the customer needed to do exactly this. If I can use this composite profile, I could end up with a wonderfully shaped loaf of bread. All this talk about bread's making me hungry.